So just like in our um, part six, we can also use a set margin of error uh, and confidence level to calculate a required sample size. Now, in order for that to happen though, we do need to know, again, uh, some estimate of the standard deviation. Because if we don't know how much standard deviation there is, we don't know exactly how many people we need to get. Um, another issue here is that based on our current formula for the margin of error, we need to find a T star. And in order to get a T star, you need an N. So you end up sort of in this circular loop that you can never break out of. So what many books have you do instead is that you're going to use a Z star instead. And that'll get you a minimum necessary sample size. It's not great because technically we'd want to get something that's a little bit above what we'd need necessarily get out of margin of error. But at least we have an estimate of where we should be. Um, and again, we always round this up. So let's go ahead and look at a problem here. So many consumers pay careful attention, blah, 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 blah. The informational packages needs to be accurate. The stated calorie content on lean pa uh, pocket frozen dinners is 235. So stated calorie content is 235. I have no way to translate that particular information. Um, if anything, the word stated makes me feel like this is a claimed value for a hypothesis test. Um, but right now I don't have a way to translate it. And a little bit more information about this, or more things to think about if we're talking about calories, we're dealing with a quantitative variable, just bringing us back to this idea that part seven is all about summarizing and making conclusions about quantitative data. Uh, so then we get the actual sentence that matters here. In a random sample, aha, the sample mean was 249. So we have an X bar of 249.3 with a standard deviation it's in the same sentence as my word sample so this is an s of 12.83 or 38 uh, and then we finally get the last piece here how many dinners would we need to would we need to order to estimate the average content within eight calories with 99 percent con uh, confidence so how many means that we're looking for our sample size we have estimate which is a way to tell us we're doing a confidence interval and then we have the word average which means we're doing a confidence interval for mu right the true population average so if we were unsure here where to go we now know and on the formula sheet we're looking pretty good too um, because we're sitting there going okay I want to do a sample size calculation I want to do this for a mean and I don't know that so theoretically we should be here and now this formula sheet, I honestly need to update because this is still written from when I was teaching at SDSU and we did this weird two sample thing. So that's why there's this weird f funky arrow here. And we actually did all these ones where Sigma was known even though they're silly because a lot of older textbooks actually do those types of analyses. So we're going to use the one that I crossed out. I was a little aggressive <laughs> in 7.1 or 2. We're going to use this formula um, because we don't have an N for T star. So I'm going to go ahead. I know I'm looking for an N. We're doing this for an average, which is another word for say mean. And technically, we can't do T star. So some edits we'd want to make theoretically to our formula sheet that I'm not going to make for you. All right, so our N is Z star times S all over our margin of error, this entire quantity squared. And then of course, I could have kept reading, but I went ahead and figured out what I was looking for first. Um, within eight calories, we know within is a nice keyword to tell us what our margin of error is. No reason to make this a decimal because we're not talking about percentage points like we were in part six. And our 99% confidence, this would allow us to get a Z star, right? Uh, we can go look this up in the table. This is one of the common ones, so I know it. It's 2.576. So that's all of our information, and we should be able to go ahead and do our calculation now. So Z star, 2.576, times our S of 12.38, all divided by that margin of error of 8. I'm going to take this entire thing and square it. So I'll go ahead and do this so you guys can watch because we know how to make really good YouTube videos and that is make you guys watch me do boring ass calculations. 15.89. Uh, 
but we should always round up. And we'll say we need to get 16 lean pocket dinners in order to estimate this within eight calories. And that's not a whole lot, but we're giving ourselves a pretty large margin of error. Like plus or minus eight calories is, is a significant amount. All right, so let's look at exercise five. I don't know. Oh, I'll do this in another video. I honestly don't remember what it is.